Catherine Nesbitt, PhD, is an accomplished chemist and FIFA World Cup referee. A native of Rochester, New York, Katie grew up loving sports and science. Years as a top-level figure skater and college volleyball player fueled her competitive spirit. But Katie found her true passions in soccer, refereeing, and chemistry. Katie graduated with a Bachelor of Science from St. John Fisher University before moving to Pittsburgh to study chemistry. Katie received her doctorate in chemistry from the University of Pittsburgh in 2015. Her graduate research focused on the prevention of brain damage during chemical sampling as well as mapping of neurotransmission in the brain. She continued to study analytical methods for chemical measurements in the brain through a fellowship at University of Michigan and in her work as an assistant professor at chemistry at Towson University in Maryland. Her work over the years resulted in 30 publications and presentations at multiple conferences all over the world. Throughout this time, Katie continued to referee soccer. In 2015, she was hired by the professional referee organization, working her first match in Major League Soccer only two weeks after defending her PhD thesis. In 2016, she was appointed to the FIFA International Panel of Assistant Referees and only three years later went to her first FIFA Women's World Cup in France. In 2020, Katie refereed the MLS Cup Final, becoming the first woman to officiate a championship match in professional men's sports in North America. She continued to break barriers when she was the first female to officiate a men's CONCACAF championship match the following year. In 2022, Katie was appointed to referee at the FIFA World Cup in Qatar, one of six women appointed to a men's World Cup for the first time in history. There she worked 11 matches, including the World Cup final Argentina versus France. In addition to her accomplishments in chemistry and refereeing, Katie advocates for women's equality in sports. She mentors young women in their early stages of their careers to help them overcome gender barriers and realize the potential of women in sports environments.